Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you a card that I created for Cat Scrappiness using their new Bamboo Backdrop die. And I'm also going to be using Year 8 by Lawn Fawn and um, some stitched oval dies by Cat Scrappiness as well. So I'm going to start off by coloring the little fortune cookies that come in the Lawn Fawn Year 8 set. And I'm going to be using some E23 and that's going to go all along the outside edge just to give it that nice shadow. And then the E55 is where I'm going to blend that out. And then the E31 for the center. And then I'll set that off to the side and let it dry and then do the rest. And then a little trick here is if you feel like you're having a hard time blending, um, this works for me is to coat with the, your zero Copic marker first, which is just your, there's no color in that, it's just alcohol. And then it seems like everything blends so much easier once you have a coating of that down. And I feel like I use a lot less ink. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's just a little trick that works pretty well for me. So I'm just going to finish coloring up my little fortune cookies here. And then we'll get started making the card. So this bamboo backdrop is great for all kinds of different things. You don't have to only use it for like Chinese themed or pandas or any of that. I've seen some really gorgeous cards by the design team um, using this backdrop with completely different things that you wouldn't normally put together with the bamboo with like floral scenes and uh, just gorgeous gorgeous stuff so I'm going to use a red panel a black panel and this green I believe is a lawn fawn green pretty sure it's lawn fawn um, and I'm just gonna cut out all of my stuff here and I honestly I didn't need to cut out the circle I mean the oval from the backdrop um, but it does make a really pretty look at that I could use it all by itself for another card so I'm kind of glad I did, but I didn't need to because I could have put that oval right over the top instead of inlaying it. I don't think you would have even known um, the difference. So I'm just going to glue down my little black bamboo backdrop onto the red cardstock. And this cuts out to be just slightly smaller than a two size card base. And that is on Nina Desert Storm is the card base that I'm using. And I'm going to tape down my background. And I'm going to place that green oval, and I use the stitched oval dies to um, cut that out of the lawn fog paper. If I can remember the name of the paper, I'll let you know, but it's just a real bright, vivid green, and I just love the contrast be behind that red and black. I just think it like pops out, and I just think it's so stinking adorable. So I'm going to adhere that down with my tape. So my tape runner and I are friends again. We're not friends a lot of the times, but we are right now. It seems to be working really well. I don't know if it's just like the batches that you get. If maybe sometimes the batches of tape, rolls of tape that you pick up, maybe not be so great. I'm not sure, but right now we're friends. I'm going to just arrange my little cookies, and then I'm going to um, use my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink to do the faces. There's two different sets of faces here, so I'm just going to alternate between the cookies and the faces, which are adorable. And I think those just bring this to life. It just makes it so cute. I'm also going to put a face on the little broken cookie, too. And I'm trying to line them all up so that they're on the bottom of the cookie, so I'll do the same thing with that, the two halves. I'll put a face on the bottom half. It's too bad they didn't have like a surprised face for the broken cookie. That would have been cute. So now I'm going to either pop them up or glue them straight down depending on which cookie it is. Some of the ones on the bottom will be glued straight to the bottom and the rest of them will be popped up. I'm also going to take the sentiment out of this stamp set which it says you will have a happy birthday. And I'm going to use my embossing buddy. I'm going to use white embossing powder which I will heat set onto the red cardstock. And I used white, um, it's kind of a weird reason, but because there's really no white on the card anywhere except for right around the cookies. And so I saw that white around the cookies and I thought that it would be kind of, I don't know, more cohesive <laughs> if I used the white embossing powder on the red card. Now I cut this out in the same shape as the sentiment and then I'm backing it with some black cardstock so that it matches the black and red of the panel. Just going to trim that down. I'm terrible at fussy cutting. That's why I use my scan and cut. I love my brother's scan and cut. I use that for everything. 
which is why the cookies were already cut out before I started coloring them because I cut out all of my images. Um, I put them all on one sheet and then I throw them through my scan and cut and they come out and then I color them once they're done being cut. Some of the other cards that I did um, that you'll see later in the month, I cut all the images at the same time. So now I'm just going to figure out where I want to place all my cookies. I think I'm going to pop up the little two halves as well, and then the sentiment. Pop up the sentiment next. And then that's going to complete this card. I didn't even put any bells and whistles on it. I just left it exactly the way it was. Sorry about that. I just smacked my mic. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I hope this gives you another idea to use with that bamboo backdrop die. I think it's simply adorable. And I will see you again next Friday with another video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.